What's up, guys? So, it's the weekend. Figure uh, I'm at the shop, finish up a car, waiting for another customer to show up. Another brake job, typical stuff, easy money on the weekend. But uh, I posted a picture on my Instagram of the ultimate temperature setup. I got a couple guys asking about part numbers and things like that. So I figure I'll show you guys what I threw together, do a rundown, maybe a review on some of them, throw some part numbers at you, give you guys something for your eyeballs. Check it out after this. Shut up and sit down. Alright, so diving right down, I got this, uh, obviously none of these tools came with the soft case. I ended up getting this soft case uh, somewhere, I, I don't remember where I got it from. It might have been from something else that I took the th thing out of it and uh, now I use it for it. But snap-on soft case, all the units in here are snap-on, but uh, here it is. This is what I pit. this is the, the post I did, pretty much... Uh, all my temperature, you know, check pretty much any temperature, any uh, any issue I have with a car and things like that. But kind of go through this stuff. Um, I don't really remember prices on some of this stuff. Obviously, I know the price on this. It's an arm and a leg, and possibly your firstborn uh, child. But uh, great thermal imager. But basic stuff. This was probably the first thing I bought years ago. Uh, temp 100 part number is just uh, basically. Uh, you know probe style temperature thing this thing's pretty much been downgraded to uh, pretty much check the temperature of the water of my fish tank before I put the water in there um, I don't really use this one too much too often anymore um, maybe in the summertime you know shove it in the vents make sure make sure they got uh, good AC and all that stuff um, but that's pretty much what I use this one for now but it's pretty nice got a magnet on the tip so it will stand up on something magnetic it's also got a couple magnets in the back here. This is also where the battery's at. You turn that and you could get to change out the batteries. I kind of like that. Um, the only downside to this, I noticed even when it's off, it's still on. You know, it's still using battery juice. So the screen always says off. Um, but, you know, for the range, it says negative 58 to 400 Fahrenheit and then uh, negative 50 to 100 Celsius. Obviously, you guys know I don't use uh, Celsius, but good little thermometer. This thing's, uh, it washes off nice, but, you know, it's hung everywhere. Hung on my box, hung on my cart, hung in my uh, side lockers, been dropped on the floor a few times. Pretty decent. Nothing special. And then we got the infrared thermometer. Um, this one's really nice. It's got a full color uh, LCD screen in there shows you a battery gauge got your min max modes um, it's got a real nice um, laser you know so you pretty much the center of that's where you're getting your temperature from the range is really nice on this thing I check this uh, you know making sure thermostats are opening real quick on the fly um, or making sure your uh, you know liquid line on the AC is not overheating and things like that but definitely like how it's got the uh, min max and things like that full colored screen it's got a scan button and then obviously you can lock the temperature it'll scan and lock when you hit the max temperature and things like that but pretty decent I like this one this one also takes batteries I believe it's a 9 volt that this one takes no two triple A's real easy to get to not like uh, some of them where it's pain in the butt to switch out the batteries on it but this one's real nice I can't remember what I paid for this but like I said guys I'll leave uh, I'll leave the part numbers in the video description for you guys to check out yourself here's the range it does obviously the further away the bigger the uh, the LEDs are gonna get for your, for your range, temperature range but that's that one and this one also goes off by itself after a while there's no off button on it so and then we got the Temp 200, which is pretty much, uh, obviously does all the same stuff this does, but this one actually has um, two temperature probes on it. You got one on the wire here with a little clip and magnetic base, so you could, you know, run this for the back vents, um, 
or check your uh, ambient temp sensor or things like that run this outside of the car and then have the inner part on the inside and then it's got another temperature on the unit itself right there so it'll give you both it has modes you know it'll give you average things like that you could check for like those dual climate zones you know you got your interior and exterior temperature um, that way you can compare them actually another uh, can't remember what this was maybe 80 bucks but uh, power probe one makes one like this actually grab it so a nice alternative to this one power probe makes one too this one's completely wireless though so pretty much you could take these probes and stick them on the vents um, you know it'll actually give you three you could buy a, a attachment for it by sensor number two and uh, you know Bluetooth it in there or whatever it is and uh, get three separate temperatures at the same time so you can get your ambient temperature you could get you know driver side temperature and passenger side or front and rear and uh, this one's a pretty nice unit and I believe it's actually cheaper than than this one and this one only has two but nice alternative I never did a review on this one I had this one for a while now um, still use it but you know having tools like this and kits like this you know it doesn't cross my mind unless I'm having a real bad diagnostic issue with uh, temperature control or blender getting stuck you know maybe I'll break this one out but nice tool to have definitely worth the money if you're you know doing a lot of temperature work and then you can see the probe there's the probe on this one and then you got the probes on the two wireless and both these are wireless but I noticed with this one you know the calibration's kinda off it takes a while to connectivity it, it seems like it drops con connectivity and things like that but still a great tool good use for it but that's pretty much what this one does got you got a real long cable on it so it goes real far you could go you know all the way in the back of a long truck or something like that or a suburban or something like that but definitely cool it's got all the modes of course min max all that stuff it's got a backlight on it pretty nice I know they didn't sell a whole lot of these but had this one for good amount of time so and then it's got real strong magnets on it obviously on the probe you could magnet that to anything metal and then the base also sticks too you can see it's got pretty decent magnet on it so that's that one and then next in the kit obviously and where the wire the wire I have in here and the and the charger plug here goes to the uh, thermal imager it's uh, actually had version 1 just picked up version two, but uh, this one is a beast, and I've been uh, trying to use it for a lot more stuff lately. Um, I mean, there's stuff that this thing does that I can never imagine using it for, but if you think about it, if you really thought about it, it it's such a time saver. But it's pretty much just like the first version, the EETH 300. This part number is EETH 310. Uh, it's the predecessor, but man this thing is a beast I really like it I've only had it for maybe a week now but um, actually I, I had the old one and I actually traded the rust belt for his uh, one of his top-down scanners and then just upgraded to this one but some of the features this one has obviously it's Wi-Fi um, you could snap pictures show customers and all that it saves it to the cloud that's pretty much the only thing the Wi-Fi is used for um, it's not like you could link your phone up to it or anything like that but uh, it has a ton of features. I like the overlay. I don't know if you guys uh, have seen these or version ones. You know, I'd be using this. And uh, sometimes when I got it on, uh, I haven't registered yet. Um, sometimes when I got it on a pulley or something I'm looking at, you know, it's kind of hard to, to see exactly what you got it on. Um, so you'd have to like move it and then it'd calibrate and all that stuff. Well, it's got a feature on here now where it'll do a picture overlay for you and you could kind of see exactly what you're looking at um, you know it'll give you like 30 percent then 60 percent Im thermal imaging and then you know all the way up to 100 percent so it'll kind of give you that you know if you if you lose the image you can kind of just click down and then it just gives you you know it'll give you the overlay of it just a normal picture and then the the, the heat signature picture picture on there it's got two cameras on there probably a sensor back there maybe a light I'm not sure what all what all those are there's a trigger definitely built well but it's you can mount it on the bottom to uh, you know like maybe a tripod or something like that don't know if I'd ever use that I'd rather hold this thing but some of the other features you go to menu here it'll give you tips and tricks and all that stuff like known good known bad 
a lot of good ones in here. Kind of don't really want to go through them all, but a couple good ones. Uh, like we'll go to body electrical. A uh, good one is uh, where did I see it? Um, parasitic drain, I think it was. I saw in here uh, battery drainers. Here we go. You go to that one, and instead of you know going through all the process of you know putting your amp clamp on there or using a DVOM or you know multimeter, however you guys do it, there's a lot of ways. Sometimes I even use the old school test light method, but you could kind of let the car sit in sleep mode and then just shine it on uh, the fuse panels and see what's pulling power. You know, stuck relays or even fuses, little fuses, you'll, you know, it'll pick up the amperage going through there and give you a different temperature reading. So real quick, uh, make real quick work of finding drains on it. And then the same with uh, like uh, shorted ECM I've seen on there, but it's the same with like if you got the uh, interior lighting or a glove box draw, you can see you know, it's obviously a known good one, and then you can see where the light's staying on even when the glove box is closed. Something you may have missed or can't see. It's not like you could crawl up in a glove box and see that the light's still on when you close it. But real cool features on this one. For I mean, pretty much you cover, they cover everything. I mean, 4x4 switch, things like that for drains, stuck relays, which is pretty much the same. Known good, and then known bad. Obviously, you can see it's on. I've actually used it for that before. Um, here's one for heated seats. That's a known good, known bad heated seat. And this, the same features is in the, uh, the, regu the first version, but it looks like they kind of upped their game on this and they definitely got a lot more listings in here. You go into HVAC, you can see Blendors, known good. That looks like some kind of vent system. It looks like in the picture. And then a known bad, you can see passenger side isn't blowing hot, but fantastic tool. I really dig this thing probably going to take a little bit of time for it to pay itself off but that's why you try to use it as often as possible and then some of the other features here uh, menu obviously you could when you take pictures you could go recall them so here we'll take a quick snapshot here snap a picture of that and then you could go to menu and then there's your pictures it just took uh, three different pictures you got one heat signature picture here we go and then you drop down, it took a regular image, and then I think it's a side-by-side, -side, so two heat signatures. Yeah, okay, so two heat signature pictures. I might have pulled the trigger twice. And then a regular image, so you could kind of compare it side-by-side -side of what's pulling power. So a real nice feature. Really dig that. But, and then it's also got, so it's got the heat signature, and then you could drop it down into the normal picture, and then if you hit left, It'll give you, you know, the outside is the normal image, the inside is the thermal Im imaging image. And then you scroll over again, it'll give you side by side of it. That way you could compare it and kind of get that tracer exactly where, you know, the heat problem is or the source of the issue is. And then I think they shrink the picture on the next one. Oh no, that's overlay, certain percent overlay there. And this records for you too. You could take, a, I think, a 10 second video or something like that and then change the overlay. What's the next one? And then they just get bigger from there. So, and actually for the camera, I mean, that's not too bad a quality. I'm not, I wonder what, uh, I'm not sure the megapixel camera this thing has, but pretty decent quality. I, I've, seen, I've seen worse cameras on expensive phones. But yeah, the, the, a lot of the features on this thing I've yet to get into, but uh, just wanted to give you guys a rundown on this one. Obviously the star of the show, Really dig this, really dig this. I mean, the price tag to match, uh, obviously being Snap-on Diagnostic, you know, uh, we ain't skimping out on that. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna hit us for what they're worth, but it is what it is. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely an upgrade from version one. I thought that one was really cool, but you know, this one is uh, definitely gonna hopefully save me some time here. Oh, here's the, it does have a light. So that is that is the light in the back. I don't know if you guys are catching that. It does have a light back there. So you kind of you're shining into a dark area. You at least light it up. Here, let's see what the thermal imaging with the light on. I don't know if that changes it or throws it off at all. Probably not. Light on, light off. But and then I noticed too. You set your hand down. Even when you lift it up, it shows the heat signature of your handprint. 
So it's pretty cool. It also shows heat reflection too. You can see the back of the toolbox back there. You can kind of see me back there in the reflection of the stainless steel. So not sure how heat signatures work, but this thing's definitely cool. And then whatever's in the middle there is showing your temperature. So 69 Fahrenheit right there. That's whatever's in the middle tracer there. You guys can see when you move it around. Obviously it gets hotter, stuff like that, but real nice. And then you could also change, there's probably a whole lot of feature I'd be missing in this, with this thing too, guys, but you could also change the color palette, I believe. I know you could on the last one. Settings, there's your Wi-Fi connectivity, color palette, here we go. So you could kind of drop it down and show, you know, kind of what you're working with and get a color palette on kind of what your taste is or what kind of metal or heat you're working with. Um, so I think that's pretty nice. That's a, kind of a nice feature. And then what else do they have? Brightness, change the language, change the automatic shutdown. Um, if you don't want this thing to turn off when it's untouched to save batteries and all that stuff. And navigation tips, spotlight intensity, probably for the flash, the, the little light that's on the back, you could tone it down a little bit. Calibration and then advance. What's advance? Uh, your temperature, things like that. Check your SD card, Wi Fi status. Pretty cool. But definitely dig it. Here's all your gauges and all that battery gauge, Wi Fi connectivity, how far zoomed you're in. There's 100% overlay, 80%, 60%, 40%, 20%, just like I was telling you guys. And then I, it's got a zoom feature here too. Oh, here's your zoom in, zoom, zoom out. So all the way zoomed out. And then you could go back, zoom in times two, three, and all the way in. And then when you zoom in times three, it'll switch over to your the other features. So pretty nice. But that's that one, guys. I'll go back to my normal setting so I could take this thing out and be ready to rock with it the next time. Power button. Hold it, turns it off. Good stuff. Quick one. I just, uh, before I wrap this up though, I wanted to tell you guys, obviously, about the couple alternatives. Like I was telling you about the Power Probe compared to this one, you know, to me, it's pretty much the same unit except the uh, Power Probe one is, is wireless and things like that, but you get, you get what you can. This one's more accurate than that one. You ain't gotta worry about connectivity and, and bat change and batteries and all that stuff. Uh, but a couple quick alternatives, obviously to the Snap-on brand, you guys know me, I'm gonna buy Snap-on, um, you know, cause I like it and I can and things like that. But, um, you know, pretty much to this one, you got your regular digital, you know, probe style one, you know, cheaper alternatives, pretty much just a regular thermometer, meat thermometer, whatever this thing is. Um, you know, that's pretty much compared to that. Same thing that thing does, except it doesn't say Snap-on and all the features. This one, I, Power Probe one, I'll try to leave the uh, part number to this one in the description. Uh, I believe actually the, the part number is just temp kit. I believe that is the part number there. And then you could buy the add-on. If you guys search this, um, I'm sure it'll come up. I'm sure it's, it's, it's a pretty popular tool. So that'll be your comparison to, to the Snap-on brand, this one. And then obviously your infrared, this one I haven't used in a while, probably needs a battery, but you know, just a cheaper Harbor Freight one. I'm not sure if Harbor Freight's still carrying this brand, but you know, that'll be your cheaper alternative to this infrared one. So there are cheaper alternatives. You know, you pay 150 bucks or pay 20 bucks or 15 bucks or whatever, whatever. I can't, for, I forgot what I paid for this, but you know, there are different options and they pretty much do the same stuff. Now, obviously this one, on the other hand, you know, you'd have to go with Milwaukee style or FLIR or whatever else, but I guarantee you it's not going to have as many features as this one is, but there are cheaper alternatives. Figure so, all right, guys, another one, quick uh, little video for your eyes and ears. Like I said, you know, I, I, I like Snap-on, but a quick, quick little kit I threw together. I'm sure some of you guys obviously have these or heard of these or seen these, uh, but that, that Elite, I really like the Predator Vision. That thing is, uh, that thermal imager is, is pretty nice. I've been trying to think of ways to use it more, but that's just how I am when I buy tools. I gotta justify it using it. You know, as soon as it pays for itself, it's a great feeling. So, but wrap this one up, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these or if you have these or need part numbers or any information on these things, you want me to touch up on them or give you guys more details, leave it down in the comments. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.